Now let us do a numerical example to show you how we can use the AC and the DC signals and the coupling capacitor in the circuit. Here we have a 5 volts DC signal superimposed on it a cosine AC signal. And we have a coupling capacitor. We want to solve for V1 and V2. Here is the solution to the problem. Because we have a DC signal and then an AC signal in the circuit, we need to use superposition. Why? Because instead of using complex circuit where we have AC and DC signals together, we can break the circuit into two circuits. One contains DC signals only. We call it DC circuit. And the other one contains AC signals only. And we call it AC circuit. So let's apply the DC signals only and kill the AC signal. For the DC circuit, the AC voltage source becomes short circuit and the capacitor becomes open circuit. So let us redraw the DC circuit and we're going to short out the AC signal and we're going to replace the capacitor with open circuit. Now the circuit is very easy to analyze. The voltage V1 becomes the same voltage across the 1.5 kilo ohms, which is the same voltage as the 5 volts voltage source. So we can state that V1 DC equals 5 volts. V2 is the voltage across the 1.5 ohm, and since the current through this resistor is zero, then the voltage across this resistor will also be zero, and that's basically by Ohm's law, V equals I times R, then we can state that V2 DC equals 0 volts. We apply the DC signal, we set the AC signal equal to 0, it becomes short circuit, and we replace the capacitor by open circuit, analyze it. We start to see that the first resistor is in parallel with the 5 volts, the voltage across it will be 5 volts, and because the second resistor is open circuited, then the voltage across the second resistor is going to be 0 volts. And now we will apply the AC signal and we will kill the DC signal so the circuit becomes AC circuit and in the AC circuit the capacitor becomes short circuit. So here is the AC circuit. We replace the DC voltage source by short circuit and we replace the capacitor by short circuit. Clearly all the elements are in parallel so we can state that V1 AC equals to V2 AC will equal to 2 cosine omega t. The last step is to combine the AC and the DC responses. So we can say that V1 will equal to V1 DC plus V1 AC. That will equal to 5 volts plus 2 times cosine omega t and V2 is equal to V2 DC plus V2 AC and that will equal to 0 plus 2 cosine omega t which is the same as 2 cosine omega t. Now do you see the importance of the DC decoupling capacitor? It basically decoupled the DC signal from the output. So this capacitor is used to decouple the DC circuit or signal and couple the AC signal. So the AC signal was able to penetrate through the capacitor to the load and the DC signal was blocked from penetrating to the load. Very, very, very important concept in electronics.